You've planned and dreamed about this year's crop. You've plowed. You've disked. You've fertilized. You've seeded. You've tilled. You may have watered. You bought or rented land. You've bought or leased machinery. You've sprayed. And you've waited. Then you harvested. And finally, you stored. The sum total of all your investment and labor is the grain. For you, it's money in the bin. If you're undecided as to what to do with your grain, you'll probably store it. If prices are too low, you'll probably store. If selling raises your taxes, you'll probably store. If elevators and shipping systems are overloaded, someone has to store. The time at which your grain goes to market is one variable you can control. When grain is harvested, it has the highest dry matter content. From then on, the grain only deteriorates. Grain is our replenishable supply of nourishment for animals and people. This is what feeds our world, and we have an obligation to use it wisely. Grain is a living entity. It is helpless against predators which attack it. It is prey to fungus, molds, birds, rodents, and insects. Insecto is here to help with the insect problems. Insects are present everywhere. How much of a problem are insects? Locally. Nationally. Internationally. How much damage they do is directly related to what we do to suppress them. What are the insects involved? Internal feeders such as lesser grain borer, rice weevil, mold and fungus feeders such as sawtooth grain beetle, flat grain beetle, red flower beetle, and the biggest Canadian problem, the rusty grain beetle. There are also a few species of moths which infest grain, such as the Indian meal moth. These insects all live in our natural environment, in places like grass, trees, tree bark, and decomposing organic matter. In storing grain, we have provided an environment for them which is better than what Mother Nature provides, and the bugs decide to move in. Insects have a sense of smell, which detects stored grain. And most of these insects have two sets of wings and fly. They fly into and live in the empty bin and fly into the filled bin, entering through the eaves and colonizing in the top layers of grain. One pair of insects can evolve from eggs to egg-laying parents in about 40 days. Each female will lay from 250 to 400 eggs in her lifetime. Stopping this process, or prevention, becomes the key to preventing damage to the grain. Remember that prevention is better than a cure. Insect-free grain is a myth. How can you control insects? You could just wait until they're found and then treat the grain as you rotate it. You could fumigate. This is a good way to treat an existing mass of grain to cure an existing problem. Fumigating is temperature sensitive, so only use fumigants at temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Fumigating is a short-term solution. After a few days, the fumigant is gone and the bugs may reinfest. Anytime you wait till you find bugs, be prepared to live with whatever damage has occurred. Estimates show that by the time insects have been detected, 
8% of the grain has already been damaged. Remember that fumigants are highly toxic and have been shown to be hazardous to the environment. In the future, they may be banned entirely. We need to find novel ways to prevent insect damage and also protect our environment. Insects have shown an ability to develop resistance to the fumigants and organophosphate protectants. Another option is to be proactive. Prevent the insect infestation and grain damage with Insecto. Apply Insecto to the empty bins before you fill them with grain. This can be done using your own aeration fan. Simply measure out the amount of Insecto necessary, turn on your aeration fan, and dump the Insecto into the fan. Now just wait until the Insecto begins coming out the eaves of the bin and turn off your fan. You're done or by using an atomizer duster, as illustrated. About two pounds of Insecto will treat a 7,000 bushel bin, and two pounds of Insecto just fits nicely into a five-quart ice cream bucket. In some states, the extension entomologists recommend that you treat the bottom two feet of grain with Insecto to prevent invasion from the bottom. We recommend that you do this at one pound of Insecto per ton of grain if you're in this area of the country. Otherwise, wait until the bin is almost full and apply Insecto at a rate of one pound per ton to the top two feet of grain and top dress with Insecto at a rate of four pounds per 1,000 square feet of surface area. In treating grain with the Insecto in this manner, we're targeting the insects. This helps keep the cost of application at a minimum and still achieve maximum control. This is a chart showing amounts of Insecto to use and costs on a per bushel basis. Please note that Insecto costs less than one cent per bushel. This is indeed cheap insurance. Now we know about the problems insects cause. We know that they live and survive in many places in our environment. We know how they enter the grain and how to prevent them from thriving in our grain. But how about licensing and record keeping? When you sell Insecto, you can forget about licensing and record keeping. It's not required. On what crops can I put Insecto? All major crops are listed on the label. Can I feed Insecto treated grain? When used as recommended, you can feed Insecto-treated grain to any livestock, except ant farms. Ants are susceptible to Insecto. How safe is Insecto for people? Insecto is labeled for use in the home. Treat Insecto as you would grain dust. Wear a dust mask and go on with your work. In fact, silicon dioxide, the active ingredient in Insecto, is actually used in many foods for human consumption. Did you know you got some this morning in your toothpaste? If you put some sweet and low in your coffee, you got some there too. If Insecto is that safe for people, how can it kill insects? Insecto is a powder with small, sharp edges. These edges cut through the waxy coating which protects the insect and his body fluids drain out. Then, he dies of dehydration. In contrast, people have skin which covers and protects them. Skin is soft and supple and absorbs the sharp edges, so we don't even perceive them. To us, Insecto feels much like talcum powder. Insecto is accepted by major maltsters for use on their barley and also by the Organic Crop Improvement Association. Your grain is the fruit of your labor. For grain storage facilities, the grain is money in the bin. Protect your investment. Use Insecto. Prevent insect infestations. Use Insecto. Then, when it's time to market your grain, you'll sell more and better grain. Insect management with Insecto isn't just a good idea. It's good business.